my name is Amanda Rollins and I'm a third grade teacher at Brown's Chapel Elementary and the co-director of RBC Science Fair. This is our fifth annual science fair and we have three main categories for third through fifth grade. We have engineering, experiment, and investigations. Today we're here with the uh, first through fifth place winners of the engineering, investigations, and experiment categories. Well, people used to use sundials to tell the time, but you couldn't do it if it was like rainy or cloudy outside. So if it was rainy or cloudy outside, you could use this, which tells. And plus at night, you can't see the sundial as well. So we put this so you can track time at night and in the day if it's cloudy or rainy. My name is Aspen Sorensen. Um, I'm in the fourth grade in Miss Summers class. My project is about crystals and crystal formations and the growth rate of them. So I took a pan of sugar, salt, and borax and I soaked the flowers just a little bit above the bottom. I took one out each day. I had day one, day two, and day three. Day three was the biggest flowers on each. The winner of the one that grew fastest was salt but they all had different crystal formations. Um, the, sugar, um, the sugar one had a cube shaped, the salt had a sphere shaped, and the borax had a snowflake shaped crystal. Um, in my opinion, borax has prettier crystal flowers, but the salt was the fastest growing. Um, I'm Briley Walker and um, for the science fair my project was to engineer a feeder that um, feeds my guinea pig without my effort and without any mess. So um, um, this is my feeder and so all my guinea pig has to do is pull a string and the pellets are disposed into her food bowl. And it took a few tries, but we finally, I finally got it to um, work really well, and it didn't make much of a mess. Um, so a lot of our problem was that the pellets were getting out of the bowl or falling, um, like when they would go down here, they would fall out the sides, which is why we added this. And another reason, um, another thing that we had to um, improve was uh, this lever. It didn't cover the <laughs> it didn't cover the bottom of the bottle all the way, so we had to um, kind of add some foam there to um, allow it to cover. And I also had to adjust the lever to line up with the bottle opening. And so now it works really well. And feeds my guinea pig without my effort and without um, any mess. Hello, my name is Colin Feverell and I will be demonstrating how much carbonation is in some sodas. And so what we did is we took some balloons and, and so we bought four different types of sodas. We brought Diet Coke, Sprite, Coca-Cola, and Fanta Orange. So what we did is we put balloons on sodas after we opened them up. We planned on putting rubber bands onto the sodas at first, but then right here, the soda balloon for Sprite was already so big that we could not put the rubber band on. So what was the point in putting them on then? <laughs> and so then we kept going through at five minute lime terms or time terms and so at one point when we got to 25 minutes the so printer didn't work right when we printed it so we stopped there shook it up one more time and then waited one hour and so it turns out that the carbonation inside the balloons went back down during the one hour term and so, right here you can see how, how big they were. And so, Sprite won. Woohoo! Way to go, Sprite! And so, Sprite for the win!
if it is right here. I know you might not be able to see it, but if you can, read it, please. And so, it's a really good project, got third place, calling out. My name is Happy Taylor, and my project is a hydraulic lift. When I push one of the pistons, it um, creates a force that um, pushes incompressible fluid to the other piston to lift my goal weight. Well, um, they were doing construction by my house, so I wanted to know how um, they were um, doing it. Hi, I'm Cadence Hill, and I'm in fourth grade, and I'm 10 years old. My project is about which color filter will make the solar car go the farthest. We use the solar car and a flashlight to make this go. We use a bigger light to make it go the farther, and we used a measuring tape to measure how far it went. And then um, my um, hypothesis was the red filter will move the farthest because the red will give it the most energy to flow through the solar power car. And purple was the lowest rate because it won't as allow as much energy to flow through the car as the red did. Hi, my name is Maddie Johnson and and um, I'm nine years old. So. My question was, which method of hand washing bless is best to clean clean your hands of germs. So before we used um, this glow germ uh, lotion, and then that was before, and then we used the hand sanitizer, which kind of didn't really do anything, but, and then uh, we used soap and water for 20 seconds, and it was still around my fingernails and cuticles. Um, we used the soap and and water and who method, and that were and that cleaned my hands, my cuticles, and my fingernails. So that one worked. This one worked the best. The soap and water, soap and water who method. It proved that when you your when your hands are dirty, hand sanitizer does not clean your hands. My name is Sydney Lynch, and my project was whose mouth is cleaner, dogs or humans? We tested four humans and four dogs. First, we took a cotton swab and we swabbed their mouth, and we swabbed it on the petri dishes, and we waited three days and we put them under a heater up to eight degrees Fahrenheit and we waited and on the first day they showed a little bit and then it kind of stayed the same on the second day and then on the third day it stayed it didn't it changed a little bit but not that much and my hypothesis was that dogs have a cleaner mouth because when they lick their wounds, it makes it heal faster. But my hypothesis was wrong. We actually have a cleaner mouth than dogs do. That was my science fair project. So today I did which one is best for your teeth. So I got, so here's the materials that you're gonna need for this. You're gonna need four different types of sorbent bottles. For example, Aquafina Smart Water Storm Brand Bottle, water, and Dasani and Brita, and filter water and tap water. Those are the waters that I use for my project. So you, you also need to have a pH tester kit, drops or, or strips, and you're gonna need a clear glass to put the water in, or container. So here's what we did. So we put the water into into this little container, and then we put the two. Then we put the pH tester 
levels in it. And so we shaked it up and then we looked on our pH balance chart, which is to tell if your water is clean, like good for your teeth or bad for your teeth. So, so tap water was a, like an eight, it's, an eight is really good for your teeth. If it's like past the green, if it's past green, it's really good for your teeth. If it's like red to yellow, it's kind of really bad for your teeth. So then we did it all, we repeated it again to all the different types of water. And so here are my results for it. So per aqua was six, which is yellow. And tap water was eight, aqua. And filter water was seven, it's a natural color, it's a natural green. And aquafina was six, that's yellow. And the sunny is yellow too. And so smart water is a six point yellow greenish. And so my variables were different variables, the pH tested drops, independent variables were different water types. And my conclusion was the tap water is the best one out of all of them because it's a neutral pH level. Uh, my hypothesis was that filter water was the safest to drink, but Murphy's Real Water Treatment plant supplies for customers that is drained from the East Fork Stones River and, Percy, and from Percy Priest Lakes. Thank you.